Hello my friends, in today's video we're gonna create an app that running on using the Hugging Face GS APIs and using Next.js as the main framework that we're gonna build this app with. We're gonna write a little bit of code just for this part and um, second part we're gonna build the UI and look how we can make this even more amazing. We're gonna learn how to create image to text, basically give it an image and it will give you information about what it see in this image. Of course, translation, compilation, and one of the most important things in my opinion, text to image, which will generate some sort of whatever this kind of turtle is. And we're gonna also test our own API using Prono, which is an, an amazing alternative to the Bossman. Honestly, it's a, one of the best alternative to the Bossman. It's for free and it's light and it's easy to use. Have an amazing features inside it, so I really recommend it using it. Before we start, I just want to tell you why Hagen Face GS is very amazing. It's not only allow you to create and deploy reboots and use the entire APIs of the models. It let you access a ton of data sets a hundred thousand of models that's open source the hugging face js library actually is created to be alternative to the transformer gs or basically the transformer library the transformer library on its own it's the main library of hugging face when you're using it with python so the inference library and the hub and agent and task of hugging face gs is the way to go when you're using a GS library with it. Create an empty folder and paste the line that will generate the next GS code for us. Hit enter and you can select whatever what you want. But in our case, I am going to use the app route. I'm not going to use TypeScript. I don't think that I need TypeScript for this video. Send yes, till when yes, and for search directly, it really depends. It's like optional, but I'm gonna go yes. For app route, I will use it in this video, but you can use page route also. But I think Nikis GS is moving from page route to app route as the main one, so we're gonna go with it. And no, I don't want to change the default import Elias and let it do its thing. And when it's done, we can go to a hug and face and grab our token that we have inside settings access token and basically create a new token or copy the current token that you have inside our folder that have been created by nexts we're gonna run open with code which is visual studio code and here we will have our entire code that we're gonna run and here is the entire folder that we have inside crs is gonna be app I want you to create a new folder call it ABI and inside it we will put our ABIs and inside public I want you to create a new folder call it images with that we are ready to start to creating our own code or just making it clean as a code we're gonna just try create one more folder inside CRS and call it details details we're gonna create inside it the main code for hugging face inference we're gonna just create it once here and reuse it in every place inside our app there if we want to. We're gonna just call it HFGS if you want to. You can call it whatever what you want, but just HF for Hugging Face as short name. We're gonna need to install a bunch of stuff that in Hugging Face is gonna use. We're gonna need Hugging Face inference, so MBM install Hugging Face dash inference. And we're gonna need also the Hugging Face agents. Because this is gonna use it also in this app. Maybe it's not this part, in the coming part, we're gonna use it with the UI. Hit enter and let it download and do its thing. Now we are ready to use it. Import from the hugging face inference. We're gonna import HF inference. I'm gonna give it the hugging face token, which I already bought here. You can put it inside the environment and export the inference by creating a new instance of the hugging face inference with that we are ready to use it in anywhere that we want inside our next gs app now let's go to abi and create a new folder you can call it whatever what you want but i'm gonna call it also hugging face basically hf and inside it we have to create a new file called route.js inside route.js we're gonna import of course the next response 
import the hugging face file that we just created and also we're gonna need the fs file system over the images and bash for putting the image inside the folder that we want and finally bars url for queries now create a post method function that will basically have multiple functionality inside it based on it's the query that we're gonna give it to the url it will change what it's doing you can split each one of this function that we're going to write in different abi points using next abi but in this tutorial i think we can build them all in just one post method under under one abi url and just switch the functionality based on the query that we're going to give it first thing we're going to create a query that will be parsed which is given by next from request and parse it and get the query and what query that i'm gonna best i mean the name of the query is gonna be type and the type is gonna be different one is for ttm image translation takes to image it really depend on the functionality itself then we're gonna create right now the form data that we want to best and it's not json i want to best form data because i might upload the image so the visual model can see it and right now we're gonna put them inside try and catch just to catch any error if we had errors and now we can start create our own first function the first one is gonna be a compilation which basically a chat between a model and us i'm gonna use the mistral 7b instruct from mistral ai let's check if the type of the query is comp which basically compilation second thing let's get the message from the form data now let's type the code that will run the mr 7 b code to understand this code what we are calling the inference inside details of hugging face and we're calling the chat compilation function it requires the model which give it the model we have mr 7 b instruct version 0.2 and here it take the input which basically is a prompt the message that we're gonna pass it from the user and where it get the message from the format for from the from the data that we sent in form data and max token can be one thousand token at response in case you wanted to see it at console log it at out which basically our response choices the first object of the array and the message and we send the same thing to the response let's format this code and let's test it out First, let's run our server mbm run dev run. It's running on the localhost 3000 because I have something else running on the 3000 already. And put the entire thing inside brown called ABI again face, which is the name of the ABI, and the type is com. And let's hit enter and see what will happen. Okay, as you can see, message that got a role from the assistant content one plus one is equal to two which is the response from from the mr 7b model i gave it a message in the format of form data which multi-part form is over here the key is a message and the value complete the sentence with this the words one plus one is equal and it will continue which one plus one is equal to two the first one is done it's very easy and straightforward you can store this object inside array that will track the entire chat which is supposed to do, which I'm gonna do in the future. Now let's add something for handling the errors, which I first think that I need to know what this kind of error, I give it console.log the error and sending the error itself to a response and give it a status of 500, because it's basically status of failure in the server. Now let's create another functionality is given by inference, which translation. It said it say, we're gonna create a text we're gonna send a text in the form data and we're gonna get it in the back end. Inference support also translation functionality. At the start, we can get inference translation and we give it the model that we want, which D5 base, which is already on Hagen Face by Google, and the text that we're gonna send in the back end. This model will translate from English to German using Hagen Face. For now, I have no idea why. It doesn't allow us to basically control translation from the language that you send to any language that you want. It doesn't have the option that will give you, for example, B to R or DOE to English, something like this. It just support a certain kind of translation. 
But honestly, I don't think it's that good translation. But let's check it out. Don't forget to log the output in the back end and also send the message output to the front end. We can right now run the ABI and test it out. As you can see, I added a new parameter which is the kiss and the value of it is my name is Wolfgang and I live in Amsterdam and I changed the query type for, for, uh, for it to translation and I hit send and I got this translation actually it's in German or you dodge as some say the translation thickest is this one honestly I can't read it but yeah I don't think it's now let's take a look something a little bit difficult I'm gonna send the inference and an image and tell it to tell us what inside this image what it can see basically it's a, a visual kind of detection for a visual detection model that we will give it an image and tell us what it detect inside this image and what it see we gonna create a new different type the type will be the type will be image to text and we gonna get an image parameter or basically the image that we're gonna upload is the image blob because this inference need an image blob and we're gonna return an error if there is no image blob or basically an image and this inference actually is called image to text and it used the gbt with image detection as the main model for it so i'm gonna send this image blob let me format the code the image to text will take this image and send it entirely to the inference of image text and whatever came out of it we need to see it so let's test this one also and see what will happen this time you're gonna add an add file over here and call it an image as the key and select the image that you want to send i recommend it's a simple image not that difficult and let's hit send and see what we'll get i made a mistake actually i should change translation to basically image to text enter once more a red and white sign with a red arrow okay this is the image that i sent it have a red sign yes chat gpt was down which from yesterday and a white sign with a red arrow i think this is the red arrow you think about and white sign is the logo of chat gpt itself from openai and yet yeah, kind of correctly get it let's try something else this time i'm gonna send an image of a fish select set enter once more a wooden table with a bunch of food on it okay it's not that accurate because yeah it's have a wooden table in the image but there's not this is not a food this is a fish it should detect something like this but yeah as you can see it's not that accurate now for more challenging thing we're gonna create the inference for generate image and gonna get this image save it on the public folder that we created the public folder that is named next inside images folder and we're gonna send the url of this image inside the response we can see it in the front end and it's a little bit tricky but of course we can do it i'm gonna show you how and the first thing of course creating a new type for the query this time is gonna be text to image or tte tt image i want you to create a new data that we're going to send we're going to call it prompt inside this prompt we're going to put the instruction for the model to what kind of image that we want to generate the inference text to image requires three things the first thing is the model which already provided by hugging face stability ai stable diffusion 2. a second thing is the prompt or basically the input we are already gonna pass this in our form data the parameter is gonna be a negative prompt we're gonna log out of course the output of the response and it's gonna be actually a blob of the image type and size so we're gonna take this output and turn it to array buffer so we can use this buffer to basically save it on our own folder which inside images and create url and send it the first thing is join the bass of the public in public folder the images folder and the name of the image that we're gonna generate and the image bash will be basically the best to our current project that we will working with and the file system will write the image uh, we're gonna take the image bash and write the buffer inside it, the buffer of the image finally we're gonna create the base url which is the current domain that we'll have is the port 3001 
and the image url is gonna be this space url with the name of the image name of the folder images and the name of the image itself and we're gonna send this image url to the message of the api right now we're gonna try to test it it's gonna take a couple of seconds from hugging face to generate this kind of image so be patient with it sometime it doesn't work at all and give you an error for unknown reason I have created a new type with the TT image inside the URL. I created a new key parameter, which basically, which is the prompt. And the value of it, award winning high resolution photo of a giant tortoise, a ladybird hybrid, basically combining two uh, animals. I think the ladybird is not an animal, it's a bug. Trending on art station, which is like a key point of the prompt. As you can see, it's still going, have a couple of seconds still. and when it's done, it's gonna give us the URL of the image. Well, running this as a test, the stable division second version still did give me a lot of error, honestly. And it kept saying, as you can see here, as in the errors, stable division times out, times out, it keep giving me the same error. So I switch to the stability I stable division, the XL base one version of this model and it gave me as i told you a url and we can use this url to see our own image and the image should be inside the folder that we created over here as you can see there is image and here is this image it's it's decent it's look like a 3d image it's not realistic the ladybug doesn't exist as a hybrid but as you can see we generated the image using the infras and hugging face which wasn't that possible a couple of months ago right now we can do that and if you copy the url of the abi and post it in a url it will automatically give you the image this is important why because when we're gonna build the ui in the next part of this kind of tutorial we have to display the image and the image of next gs if it's outside public it's a bit difficult to show it so we this is why we created the images folder and we saved the image that we generated inside it. So in the next part of this kind of tutorial, we're going to keep going, growing this code and building the UI for it. So if you're interested about more of the stuff, please subscribe and hit the notification button. So you know when the next part of this kind of tutorial is coming out. What I'm going to build is basically a chatbot that will use almost all of this functionality in just one place based on what we're gonna give it uh, this is gonna be the next part of this tutorial so with that being said thank you for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed and see you in the next one